Hi and welcome to another tutorial. In this one we will see how we can define models in Prisma and how we can create tables. Then we will start a Prisma editor, which is a graphical representation of your database, where you can see all the models and the tables that you have created and what records you have inside of your database. In the previous tutorial, we have set up Prisma for our application. So if you haven't watched that video, I highly suggest you to go and watch that video first. Code with Sloba. To add any records to our database, first we need to define how this record is gonna look like. So we need to define a model. And where we define this model is inside of the schema.prisma file. So let's head over to schema.prisma file and let's add our model. Below the data source DB, let's add a model. Let's name it as a task. Inside of this model, we'll have four properties. The first property is gonna be ID which is gonna be a type of string. And this is gonna be a key attribute of our table. So we define a key attribute with at ID. And then we wanna set a default value for this column. And we do that by defining an attribute of default. And then we just provide what is the default value. In this case, we wanna auto-generated ID with a function of UUID. The next property in our model is gonna be content. And this is just gonna be a type of string. The next one is gonna be created at. And this one is gonna be type of daytime. And we want to set the default value for this one as well. So we're going to use the default attribute and we want to provide function now and call this function. The last attribute is going to be completed, which will mark when our task is being completed. And this is going to be a Boolean flag. For the default value, we want to set it as false. With this, we have defined how our model is gonna look like and also how our table is gonna look like and what properties it's gonna have. So in order to define a key attribute or a column for a database, you just provide an attribute of ID here. And if you wanna set a default value, you use the attribute of default. In this case, you can see that for the content string, we are not defining any default values. So for this one, it is required to add this content. If you wanna make property as optional, you can add a question mark. But for this case, we will leave this as required. Whenever you do updates inside of the schema.prisma file, you need to make sure that these updates are being reflected inside of your database. So let's see how we can create our database and how we can update our database when we make changes inside of the schema.prisma file. So first, let's save this file and let's open up a terminal. To start migration, we just run the following command npx prisma migrate dev now it will ask us what is the name of migration so let's name it as task model and if migration was successful to you you should see the following files inside of your root directory so let's open here and inside of the Prisma folder, we can see that now we have this migrations folder and that we have our database created. So let's open this migrations folder and inside of this folder, we have this file with different random numbers. So if we open this file, we can see that inside of this file, we have this migration.sql. So this SQL file has been created and inside of this SQL file, we have this SQL command, which actually creates a new table inside of our database. So if you're familiar a little bit with SQL, you can see that we are creating a table with the name of task and all the parameters that we have set inside of our Prisma schema file. Apart from that, we have this dev.db, which is the actual database file. And now what we can do is we can start a Prisma editor, which is, as I said, a graphical representation of our database. So how we can do this is just run a following command. So let's run mpx Prisma Studio and click enter. And this starts a new server on the localhost 5555. So let's go and see what we have there. And this is the Prisma editor. So here you can see all the models that we have defined and we have only one. Here is the number of records that we have inside of our model. So if we click on this task model, we can see that all the properties that we have created previously. And as you can see on the screen here, it says there are no rows in this table. In the future tutorials, we will see how we can perform CRUD operations on our database using Prisma. And this is all for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next one. And if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.